Hey YouTube, coming at you with my second Ultra League Weather Cup team and my last. Um, I, I like this team. It would be better if you had a grass on lead. So I, in my top team videos, I said um, Cradilly, Slow Bro, Slow King. Slow Bro, Slow King actually do really well against most of the meta. Couple losses could easily be covered by grass. So put in Cradilly. If you don't have Cradilly, put in a Bomb of Snow. If you don't have a Bomb of Snow, put in Ludicolo. If you don't have Ludicolo, Crustal is the what I came up with with what I had. Um, so the team actually worked very well. I, like I said in this morning's video, I didn't do amazing with my top team because I don't think Swampert has a ton of play in this. Crestle has some good play because you are neutral to the grass. You're doing super effective against ice with your smackdowns here, right? Going to grab a bunch of sh shields here. Uh, plus you're doing a bunch of damage. You need to try and draw out a grass type Pokemon in the back, right? So I'm probably going to try and catch. Yeah, try and catch. On the slow, slow king here, slow king, slow bow, same stats, same moves, both decently bulky. These confusions add up pretty quickly. It's 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 confusion with psychic and slow. It's a little slow to get to, as you saw. Like there, I got a confusion off, and they're gonna get to the crunch and take me out before I even get to the psychic, which is too bad. Um, good news is I am able to just do a insane amount of chip damage with the smackdown and take this out. So if the wall ring comes back in, I'm gonna do even more damage there. Um, it is a Swampert. So Swampert is tough for the f for Crustle here. Obviously, Smackdowns are resisted and they can just kind of load up. That's the bad news. The good news is like that still chips, and now you've got this confusion here. If I shield up an earthquake properly here, um, I'm looking in an okay position here still because like I'm taking enough to take another one. Um, I'm not even gonna throw because I think I could just go back to back. Um, surfs here to force shields and then the confusion will do more than enough to take out the swampert because they need they can't throw hydro cannon because hydro cannon is not gonna take me out on water and i'm eh, hydro can actually may take me out from this range um but they need to throw it now and they do not because i was about to say they're probably dry on energy steel um this is interesting because everything resists steel um so that's not great, but the Surfs would have been super effective. They come in here because they have Shadow Claw. They're running Typhlosion with Shadow Claw, which is super effective against a Psychic Pokemon. Uh, problem is, I'm going to outpace to these Surfs, and I know you do not have a Brave Bird like like uh, Blaziken can threaten. So I do not even need to shield, so I Wind Switch and take a shield. So Slow Kings and Slow Bro both have a lot of great matchups here. Uh, I'm going to be taken out here, which is too bad, but I can now align on my slow bro. And again, surfs are super effective. I'm going to shield because this thing is loaded and I don't want to take a move here. And the surfs will do uh, a great amount of damage here. So I am just throwing this to, I don't know if it'll KO. It'll be pretty close. It'll do a ton of chip damage if they don't. Yeah. So they got a shield. I'll shield right back. Again, confusion is resisted, but it's adding up and a great catch on a Gyarados there. Really nice catch. Um, but again, I can now just come smack this down all the way. They will get an Aqua Tail off, which does hurt because you're weak to water. So it's always risky bringing a rock type Pokemon into a very water heavy meta, which is why you have two water Pokemon in the back to deal with that. Um, get to the rock side again, resisted, but should chip enough here, um, uh, to put it somewhat low. I still think I'm going to need a surf. I, I don't think confusion is going to take that out. So now it is a race to the surf, or this, that's their second meteor beam. So I'm guessing they may not have like a move quicker than that. So I will get the surf off for the win here. So Slowbro, Slow King, both XLs. I mean, you sh they just had the community day, so you should have hopefully the XLs for this. Um, I mean, I wouldn't go like the team worked, and if you have like. Cradilly or Grass plus these two, and you want to play this league, I do think this team works. Um, out comes Bomb of Snow. So, like, again, they are, there's a lot of ice in this, and Rock is really good against ice, so this is not terrible either. These were both XLs, Slowbro and Slow King, and between that and the second move, it probably cost me, like, 500,000 dust to power these two up. So... It's one of those things where it's like, can you do it? And does this team work? Yes. Should you do it? 
not if you don't have a lot of dust, quite honestly. Um, like again, it's just a one week thing. I don't know how much. I think for me, slow bro and slow king are gonna have play in some like limited metas uh, for ultra league limited metas factions that I do, other tournaments and stuff like that. So I think for me and as a content creator, it's fine to build these up. Uh, but they're not any sort of must, especially with the psychic weakness, right? Because you're gonna see some losses here against Jellicent, and that's why Grass on the lead is better to deal with Jellicent because you're back is your double psychic in the back so you're weak to Jelsent. Like pretty weak. Like it's it's a bad matchup here. Um so that is why you need a grass in the front to deal with Jelsent. Um and then just thinking of like open ultra with all your like Trevenants and Giratinas and um water and psychic, right? So you're weak to all the ghosts and you're weak to all the grass and your weak to the darks too it's just like uh there's so many weaknesses for this pokemon um and now i'm in a tricky situation here and they catch a surf and this game's already like lost so trevenant i mean uh jellicent is a very very tough matchup uh for this team which is why you should probably use um a grass on the lead and then try and draw out a jellicent and then come in and punch with the grass, and the other one should roam free. But in like, if you if you go to the um, if you go to my team building thing, and you look at like the matrix for slow bro and slow thing, there's a lot of wins, right? There is a lot of water, which you will resist all the water moves. There's a lot of ice, which you will resist all the ice moves. You have confusion, which is a pretty it's a move that chunks. You have surf, which is a quick, um, quicker move, which is a nice move, and psychic, which is a pretty decently hitting move. Um, and now I'm just going to get two shield flexed on because yeah, it is really tough to deal with a jail scent. Um, and not saying there's no steals again, a lot of people are using steals, which is fine. Like I recommended a sand slash as a great Pokemon in my, um, team building video. I just don't have one cause it also takes a ton of XLs. Um, and I feel like, I don't know if XLs, I wasn't thinking about it for a lot of these things or, if um excels for some of these communities weren't around because i looked at some of them that i thought i should have enough excels for like sand slash and i do not like i wasn't even close or else i would have built one up because i think sand slash is a really good pokemon to use but not it did not work there so um grab this is a razor leafer so i grabbed the second shield and now crustal again smackdown should be able to take this quite easy i got a shield though because i cannot have my slow bro see this so will shield um i gotta throw here because i'm also gonna be taken out because i'm still half ground i mean half rock so i'm still taking neutral to this despite the bug resisting and now beauty the second right two answers for tentacruel two answers for tentacruel so it's nice in the back here um, and again, it just has like a lot of good neutral matchups. Uh, I think they're at, I think I probably show this one. Yeah. And just get this out of here because I don't want to take super effective claws. And I know that they have acid spray and they're likely have scald. So they are likely just kind of drawing dead here. Uh, scald that actually hurt. Actually, yeah. Between the poison jabs and the acid spray, scald probably would take you out. So I'm glad I got to the sidekick first. And goodbye, Tentacruel. And again, a Jelson on the lead. With a Jelson on the lead, you almost have to stay in here. I, tr I tried to catch a Surf. So this was a, a sort of a mistake. And it was sort of a good idea at the time, but sort of a misplay at the same time. I tried to catch a Surf, thinking that, like, if I catch a Surf bet between... Like, you still need to draw to grass, right? Because if they have, like, a, uh, a Bomb of Snow or Cordelia in the back, you're just, like you're in big trouble. So you do need to try and draw it out. Uh, but then it's like, I tried to catch a surf and I didn't catch it properly. So now they are just so far ahead on energy. I'm down two shields. They're still going to take switch here. Like not, not great. Um, and they probably could get to almost a second surf here. So this is not looking good. So yeah, really rough. Um, they do come in tentacruel, which gives me Actually, I don't even know if I can fully farm down. Because again, Acid Spray, plus now these are doing 
double the effectiveness and now I'm just within like scald range, right? So I need to take this out or else I'm going to be like taken out by the scald. So take it out uh, and it is a bomb of snow on the back. So good news is it is not a razor leaf of bomb of snow. That's the positive. Uh, the negative is, is they still get to those energy balls real quick. Um, just go for the full smackdown, trying to get this out because I really don't want to take an energy ball here. And they let it go. And now I remember this game because now they need two surfs because one surf is not going to take me out. So I think they tried to get to the two surfs, but now that move snuck through. So I, I took it out there. So I, I don't know what the smart play for, on their part was, but... Um, and then Polyrath, you have two answers for it in the back. Uh, and there's your one grass, which you're going to lose to. And just like, you really don't have any matchups against grass in the back. So you, that's why you need to try and draw it out. So the question is like, why are you using a grass in the front? The main answer you're using the grass in the front is for Jellicent. Um, but again, like a grass against this is still not amazing, right? Because it has stone edge. So you're either in a, in a neutral matchup against it with your own Cradilly, or you are using like a Razor Leafer, a Bomb Snow, or a or thing, but they can still get to, um, like still get to a Stone Edge, and they're probably gonna throw a Stone Edge here and take me out, or at least do huge chip damage. Plus you're still gonna get to a move, right? So Cradilly is tough, and uh, that's why the Slow Bro, Slow King combo, in theory it works, in practice it does okay. Uh, there's still like a lot of just issues with it, just based on like the limited meta, right? And we know what we're seeing in limited meta. It's really smart on my opponent here. I'm actually going to stop this. I know everything is resisted here. They know everything is resisted here. So why are they coming in here? They're coming in here because they know I'm not going to shield a resisted dynamic punch scald or something. And so what they're going to do is they're going to chip the heck out of me. Not the heck out of me, but like a quarter. Even a quarter is good. And now shield up charm a nine tails. Uh, I have no, no chance against. So... Smart heads up play by the opponent. That is a really, really smart play, knowing that I'm not going to shield up a resist move, um, trying to save the shield for what's in the back. And the back is just a charmer that's just going to out to just out, outpace me with the charms and the shield advantage. So smart play by my opponent there. Um, perhaps next time I probably need to recognize that, right? There's no other reason for that move to happen. Coming in, throwing a resisted move, unless you think that the chip damage plus fast move damage in the back is going to beat you. So that is just a just a little. I, I've done that play too before. I've come in and throw like like against a Trevenant. I would throw resisted. I would come in like Swampert and throw resisted Hydro Cannon to chip, and they let that go. And then you come in with like a Sableye or your own Trevenant and just like claw and take it out when it's like at half health. So that is a pretty i don't want to say advanced play but eh, is it an advanced play it's it's a play that is used often so uh that is it uh appreciate the thumbs up and comments like i said straight great league from here on out uh i've got many 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 teams coming at you over the next five days so check those out appreciate the thumbs up and comments and i'll see you guys in the next one